Hey YouTube, this is Megan Dweezel coming at you from the Great Indiana Wilderness, and uh, I did a video um, yesterday on uh, you know getting uh, getting you know vegetables and stuff from the grocery store and you know, feed the worms and yada yada. And I, you know a friend of mine made a very interesting comment. You know, he said something about you know skills are going to be the new money, um, and I got to thinking about that because we've been, you know, we've been kind of plugging away at this for a number of years, and the, and the strange thing is, is, one of the one of the real big problems that I've had, okay, and I, uh, you know, this is kind of just me personally, but you know, we already know that I don't have any patience and that I have trouble, you know, asking folks for assistance. But one one of the problems that I've always had is what I call I got it syndrome. And what that has to do with is because I uh, see stuff on YouTube, you know, and because I research stuff on Google, and because I spend a lot of time, you know, on the computer watching people do things and, and coming up with their, their plan and their methodology, I have a real alarming tendency to assume that I have skills that I do not have. And there's a big painful gap between you know, skills and knowledge. There's a big difference between knowing how to do something and uh, the ability to actually do it, the ability to execute. And uh, it always seems easier when I'm thinking about it. You know, I think, well, I'll just go put in a new garden bed. You know, it'll be a snap. And uh, I had forgotten, you know, how hard digging is. <laughs> okay. I had. Uh, and, and and the problem with that is is not so much that you don't know, um, you know, your limitations, because, I mean, like I always say, reality catches up. You know, your limitations will demonstrate themselves to you soon enough. Mine certainly did to me, and continue to on a daily basis. But the the the, the big danger is in getting discouraged. Okay, is when something doesn't work out. Uh, the way that it is supposed to. You say, damn, you know, I thought I knew how to do that. I thought this was going to be easier. I thought this was going to be... Perseverance, you know, and, and, and hell, I hate to use the word courage, you know, but sometimes that's what it's about. And, and what I'm talking about is when we installed our wood stove, okay, uh, we used the wrong kind of pipe for the chimney. Now, I didn't know shit about wood stoves. Okay, I didn't know the difference between chimney pipe and, you know, HVAC pipe and any other kind of pipe. Uh, we had a chimney fire. <laughs> and it was some special shit, too. It looked like that there was a, you know, a, like, 15-foot neon, you know, red pipe attached to the side of my house, shooting flaming shit out of the top. And... My first reaction is kind of, you know, what everybody's reaction is in our culture today. Is, Fuck this. I, you know, this, I ain't doing this. This is way too dangerous. This is way too, rather than, you know, but fortunately at that time we were kind of broke and really didn't have a, uh, a good way, you know, that we could say, well, the hell with it. We're going back to paying, you know, $900 a season for LP gas. So we kind of had to make it work, fortunately, and uh, we did. We fixed the pipe. We fixed it with the right kind of pipe. You know, we admitted our mistakes and we kind of went on. But the uh, the cool thing about all this was just that you know, yeah, we screwed up. You know, but ordinarily, you know, the the reaction would have been to you know, well, this won't work. Yes, it will. You know, but the thing is, is what I had done is I had substituted a knowledge of how stuff was supposed to work for an ability to actually do it. Um, that's not the kind of mistake I want to make in an emergency. It's, uh, it's very important to me that I know what it is I can do. You know, I don't need to know what it is that I know. I need to know what I can actually do. And, uh, that's been, you know, that's required me to get out of the house, get away from the TV, you know, and it's required me to understand that the easy, fast way is not always the right way, you know, and it's not always the good way. Sometimes the right way takes some time. 
So, in any case, you know, that's the, the message for today, okay? My, uh, another weakness uncovered is that, you know, yeah, it's not enough to know how to do something. I have to have an ability to do it before I can stick that in my pocket and say, okay, now I have a skill. Now I have a self-sufficiency skill. Now I have a survival skill. Um, if I don't know that I can do it, then it's all still rhetoric. Don't worry, YouTube, because Indiana's holding.